Hey Vsauce, William here. Sex appeal. Sex appeal. My car. My car is hot. Wheels. Hot wheels. The back of my car looks like the front of this hot wheel. Postage stamps. Mailbox. Welcome back to another episode of William doing whatever William does. I bought the stamps because I saw them at the post office and I thought it was funny that they looked like my car. And then today I go outside to check the mail and I don't know, someone hit it maybe? We are in the middle of working on a giant project that I'm going to point and blur at because I don't want you to know what it is. Can you tell, can anybody tell what that is? Yeah, maybe, so I'm gonna blur it. And there's a part of it that is making wooden bearings, wooden ball bearings, that I don't think fits into the main video. Do you have something that like squeaks, squeals, and screams when you try to move it around? A ball bearing is a rolling device used to reduce the friction between two moving objects. 3D printers, routers, power tools, skateboards, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. I can't afford any stock footage. Okay, maybe I could, I'm just too lazy. Let me show you the CAD model of the ball bearings. Also, Morgan's here. Oh, hey. You have the outer the race. Outer race is this. Here's the ball, there are seven of them, and then here is the inner race. They're not like pressed in together like a typical bearing. They're sort of resting inside of each other, and each is like an L, but we're not doing a great job explaining this. I think it's better if we just start cutting and then put the pieces together and like physically demonstrate how it works. Also, we don't know, we don't know if it's gonna work, so we should probably be, uh, oh, am I hiding the, the part? Yes, I am. We should probably be pretty confident that it is gonna work before we spend too much time <laughs> explaining it. Here is the cam model. We have, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, tool pass. seven tool paths. The first step is to do a rough coring of the center, because we need to have the axle go through the bearing. And the first step Step of the first step is to clean this disaster up. Hey, that's a thief. You're gonna hurt your back. <laughs> <laughs> this is rough cutting the outer bearing race. We're gonna throw the ball end mill onto the, the router and we're gonna do the curvature uh, of this kind of nasty roughed out part. The ball end mill got a curved end and the flat end mill has a flat end. Carve curved stuff with the ball and, and flat stuff with the flat. Now let's start the finishing pass. I'm excited for this. This is, I think is gonna like kind of be a satisfying <laughs> feeling watching it. Hold it up, point it like, oh yeah. So you can see right there, you can see the tabs that are holding the block in place and we'll just cut those out by hand. But mm -hmm. wow, look at, oh, there's a little knot right there. Whatever, I was wondering why that kind of exploded. Oh, you now you have to come in. No, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Cause... <laughs> I think this turned out really good. Dude, yeah. where, where's my balls? Hey, that Does looks it work? pretty good, yeah. Why won't you focus? Ooh, look at that. It's not perfect, but you know, it's a wooden ball bearing. How, how good is it ever gonna be? Is anyone able to keep track of like the day night cycles of these videos? How it, it feels maybe like one day, but it's actually three or four. Weeks? Uh, let's take a quick intermission to play with this RC car I bought for another project. Oh, it's all tied to the, why do they do this? Ninety percent of going fast is looking good. Yeah, is that why people yeah. put flame stickers on their car? I 
think we uh, killed the battery. You can play a little bit with it oh, while it's oh, dead. Oh, the dead battery? Oh, great, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Wow. Okay, now let's cut out the other half of the bearing four times. Wait, actually, I think before we talk about that, um, yeah, you keep changing the tool. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, no, just yeah. keep, it's, uh, you're, you're fine. So we didn't have any plywood thick enough, and we used the cutouts from the main project to create a bigger stock of material. Say it again. You ready to rip there? Yeah. Yeah, let it rip. I am, okay. Okay, okay, well. It's like a cat toy. That's hilarious. I mean, you wanna play with it? Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that works really well. All right. Let's put some more in there. Maybe we should put the two halves together so we're not, you know, just cutting. I mean, it looks like it's gonna work, but that I've said that about a lot of things in the past. Dude, spin it. Spin it. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Right? Oh my God, Morgan. <laughs> Okay, so they bind up a little bit. Well, again, the, the balls are not perfectly round. Dude, look at that. That's all my weight, and it's like pivoting effortless. Woo! <laughs> cool beans, Morgan. Woo! <laughs> now we just have to make three more. Yep. Did my fat body wear it in? Yes. Hey, Morgan, do you want to tell me a little bit about what you're cooking over here. I did a big doo-doo. A whoopsie? Yeah, the vacuum here got stuck between the, the tool and the workpiece and it lost steps. And uh, and now we have to do this again. All of them? No, just the one. No, just uh... God, it looks really bad, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me right now, please. Don't look at me. Instead of doing the whole cut again, we're gonna skip the first big cuts only send the cuts that we need. So I've made a new cut file. You're gonna the, shame me? The zoom of shame. <laughs> so you can see that cut right there, it just, it started carving a lip that didn't exist before. When the machine crashed, it shifted the workpiece or something, something moved out of place. So when the tool bit comes down, even though it's in the same home position, it's misaligned. So this is the piece. Uh, it looks okay. Uh, oh. You can barely even tell, it's just the outside portion that was really chewed into. That's pretty much it for wooden ball bearings. Subscribe to receive a notification for the next video we post, which is the giant thing made out of wood that shouldn't be made out of wood. And if you wanna support us on Patreon and help us keep doing stuff like this, uh, I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you guys, and we'll see you, I don't know, probably next week, maybe this week, depends on how quickly we can make this thing work.